it's using quantum mechanics in a very basic way. So you could start saying, oh, well, with photosynthesis is based on quantum mechanics, why not uh, behavior of neurons and things like that? Maybe there's something which is a bit like photosynthesis in that respect. But what I'm saying is even more outrageous than that, because those things are talking about conventional quantum mechanics. Now, my argument says that conventional quantum mechanics, if you're just following the Schrodinger equation, that's still computable. So you've got to go beyond that. So you've got to go to where quantum mechanics goes wrong in a certain sense. You have to be a little bit careful about that, because the way people do quantum mechanics is a sort of um, mixture of two different processes. One of them is the Schrodinger equation, which is a, an equation Schrodinger wrote down, and it tells you how the, system, the state of a system evolves. And it evolves according to this equation, completely deterministic, but it involves into ridiculous situations. And this was what Schrodinger was very much pointing out with his cat. He said, you follow my equation, that's Schrodinger's equation, and you could say that you have to, your cat, a cat which is dead and alive at the same time.